I'm here at the Goldsboro Bridge Battlefield. I'm going to give you all a walking tour of the place and explain to you some of the things that happen here. No metal detecting is allowed, but that's okay. Here are the regulations of the battlefield. Notice number one, the use of metal detectors in the digging for or collection of artifacts is prohibited. As welcome to the Goldsboro Bridge battlefield scene of the December 17th, 1862 Battle of Goldsboro Bridge. Here's the Noose River. We are down here in the lower left area where the star is. We're going to stop at all these places. Here we are on the first, we are right here, and just to my right is where the Union lines were, and the Confederates were set up across the Noose River guarding this rail bridge, and the Confederate uh, Union burned this bridge because we knew the tactical importance of that bridge. By 2 p.m., the Union made a move and the Confederates bugged out a little bit across this wagon bridge. They destroyed the railroad bridge. By 4.30 p.m., the Confederates did a counterattack. And by the end of the day, we repelled that counterattack and sent them back across the bridge. Here's a picture, a drawing of the, the battlefield. These are the generals who were involved in the battle, General Foster, General uh, Klingman, and General Evans. Here we will start the tour. Trail goes this way. And we're going to go over to this monument and see what this monument says. Such an awesome feeling at any battlefield to stand on the hallowed ground where our brothers fought for our freedom. Both sides believed in their cause, but they're all Americans. It's so sad that both sides in the United States suffered such terrible losses. It's the 
Battle of Goldsboro Bridge, December 17th, 1862. I'm going to scroll down slowly so you can read it. And if I'm going too fast, you can always pause it. Trying to shield the sun the best I can. The other side of the monument shows the order of battle, beginning with the Confederates. trail indicator to the left but it's a little bridge right here that I want to check out real quick I'm trying to shield the sun with my hand because the sun is walking into the sun and it's washing out the image Coming up on another marker, and in the distance you can see the railroad tracks. We'll go visit the rail bridge in a minute. Little creek to the right. It says defense of the bridge. Here's the map. This is noon to 1.30 p.m. on the 17th of December. It said the woods behind me. There's the flag and monument. And there's the woods behind me. And there's a shopping mall. And here's the little brook. Approaching another monument soon, but that's a massive tree. That tree probably saw the battle. I'm sure, if you took a metal detector to it, it's got a few bullets in it. You can see the railroad tracks ahead. Out there. The attack of the 17th Massachusetts.
this is to our left we're going over here check that out in a minute I'm the only one out here except for the ghosts of our fallen brothers can almost feel their presence So there's the creek, and the railroad tracks. These are the Confederate earthworks right here. I'll show you the plaque in a minute. Climbing on the earthworks is prohibited, so I'm not going to do that. I'll respect it. I'll try to do it so the Shadow's not on here. Earthworks cross section. This work consisted of a deep front ditch, the earth from which was used to form the parapet. Behind the parapet was a broad but shallow rear ditch was dug and the earth was used to form a firing step upon which men could stand and fire over the parapet. The work is situated at an angle to the railroad so that fire can be directed at an enemy approaching along the top of the railroad embankment. This work could have been used by infantry or with the addition of a wooden platform over the rear ditch by artillery. So here we got, we're looking at the parapet right here and right here in front of you, right here is the firing step and back over over here is the rear ditch. So there you have it. That's how the earthworks are constructed. There's the bridge. Union assault on the bridge. Back in the day it was a covered bridge. Shows battle going on. This shows men working on the bridge. This is the swift moving Noose River.
moving back down the trail. Coming back on the trail markers. Railroad to the left. Main battlefield. Up ahead you can see some some more markers. We'll go check that out. Coming up on some more markers. I'll let you know what they say here in a second. Looking back out over the battlefield. This is the Confederate counterattack. So we began our tour there, we walked around that way, there's the flag, I'll zoom in for you so you can see it. We walked that way along that creek, the bridge is right over there somewhere. back into the bridge or back into the woods to where the earthworks were and now we're back at almost the starting point again the trail continues into the woods so we'll check it out This is the Confederate and Union Earthworks. We'll go back there and see him in a second. See something curious here. Maybe breaks from a hut site or something. Trying not to get my shadow in the shots, but it's kind of tough the way the angle of the sun is. This is the view along the earthworks. Earthworks is right here to my immediate left or right. There's that brick thing. And some of Sherman's memoirs stated that. When Sherman's 60,000 troops were here in near Goldsboro, he resupplied his men with new uniforms and they dug pits and buried the old uniforms. Imagine all the buttons in those pits. 
This is the river road and pontoon bridges. I guess some birds are not happy I'm here. Coming back up on the parking lot. I'm at a park about three miles away from the battlefield and in the city of Goldsboro, North Carolina. I'll tell you where it is because it's a public park. And hopefully I'll find some sieve. Well, this target was a little ways down. I don't know what it is yet. There's the imprint of it right there. I'll clean it up a little bit and give you a better look. It's an old printing plate. That's awesome. I love it. The first one of the year. I'll clean it up better when I get home and actually read what it says. Well, I'm in this uh, tear out pile here. I just had a signal on the sidewall. I pulled it out and it's a piece of horse tack. 
It's probably period for civil war, judging by the deterioration of the iron. Well, from this little park here, that tear out pile right there, I found uh, that horse tack. And just on the other side of that tot lot, I found that print plate, which says, quick relief from stuffy uh, something head cold. And very down at the bottom, it says Vix. So it's an old Vix advertisement print plate. I like it a lot. And here's that horse tech thing. So this is a. Uh, the small wrap up for this place but I gotta get going back it's gonna be dark by the time I get home but uh, thanks for watching and I really dig this one this is this was exciting I'm gonna treasure that